Welcome cuties, let's create. Hello, hello. Today I'm super excited because as you can tell from the title, I'm going to re be reviewing these alcohol-based markers. Um, the brand is Oh Hoo Hoo and I hope I'm saying that correctly. I have seen these so much. There's so many artists in the YouTube community and artists in general that have this brand and I've just heard amazing things about it. And so I was able to get me some. This is a 72 um, color set and just look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I just, I love to look at it and it's just, oh, it's so pretty. It's just so beautiful. I, I love it. Comes with this plastic sheet that you put with between like thin papers or you put it underneath your paper and so it doesn't bleed through on the other side or in my case bleed through on the desk. And it's perfect because the, the pieces of paper, the sheets that I have that I use, they are like the perfect size. I thought it was awesome because they also come with these color swatches and it's like really heavy duty cardstock. It is probably marker paper because it doesn't bleed through very much. So um, it's very nice to have it because then you get a, an idea of what the color is because the color, as you can tell, like the one I just did, not all of the caps match the color. And I mean, it would be kind of hard to find one that really matches very well to the cap. So it's nice to have because it has the number on it. And then it also underneath, very tiny, it has the name of the color as well. So it's very useful, very nice to have. I like to use it because, you know, I go, hmm, I, you know, want this color and I can browse and see the different shades that they have and kind of pick from there. Um, it's very useful. I love it very much. I may end up doing another color swatch on the cardstock that I have just because the cardstock I have is very thin and paper, depending on the thickness of the paper, the kind of paper, it all reacts differently to alcohol-based markers, but we'll see because this just gives me a general idea and so. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. So I'm just going to tell you, and it also comes with this cute little bag, like, oh my gosh, how useful is it? Like, it's so nice because they can just sit in the bag and it's just wonderful. And if, if you notice, sorry, my desk is a little messy in the background, but I always have the, the markers laying sideways. So that way, because I have heard this, I don't know if it's true, but markers that, if they're standing up, upright, then the ink will like drain to one side. I, again, I don't know if that's true. I've just heard that it's best to store your markers laying flat like this. And so I just have them flat and it works great. So I also came with a pamphlet and I'm just gonna read, um, it says, what is Oh Hoo Hoo? So um, they actually were inspired by the colorful island of Oahu um, and you know, in Hawaii. And, you know, it says the bright, bright blue skies, the, you know, forests and the flowers. They were just so inspired by all the colors that this island has. And so they wanted to create these markers that were very vibrant and very bright. And they definitely live up to their name. <laughs> They're very, they seem very well made. And the brush tip is very well. It's very sturdy and I actually really like that. Um, I do have some other brush tip markers and I'm not a huge fan of how bendy they are, but that's just my personal preference. So I actually like how sturdy um, this brush nib is. So I wanted to draw a character using just these markers and I was inspired. <laughs> 
by the bright, bright colors and knowing that it was you know that they got inspiration from Hawaii and kind of a tropical environment and so I was like you know what that's a good idea so I decided to draw like a hula dancer and I I think she's really pretty she kind of reminds me of Moana <laughs> um, which is not a bad thing because I love that movie and it's so cute but um, yeah that's what I decided to draw and I I drew something first and I ended up scrapping it because I'm like this does not look good I messed up on the eyes and the mouth and I tried to white it out and if you have ever used like white out and then try to go over it with marker it makes it very very light so then she had these like light patches and I was like oh, this isn't what I'm going for and so I'm like you know what I'm gonna I did it separately in my sketchbook to kind of give me an idea because it just was not working out and I didn't I had the whole body and she kind of looked like she was floating and Instead of standing in the water so I decided to kind of crop her legs so you don't even see her legs and this turns out a lot better I like this way way better this is it turns out cute and I feel like I really took my time and it, it turns out good so but yeah I definitely love these markers um, I s the thing is, is they only had, for the longest time, they only had a chisel on one side and a little bullet on the other. And that's very common in knockoff Copic markers. And I actually have like my Artify ones, that's how they are. And if you get ones from Wish, that's how they are as well. The ones that I've gotten from uh, Deso, they're also that way. And so for the longest time, they did not have a brush tip. And it wasn't until recently, I'm not too, too sure when, um, they came out with a brush tip marker. So one side has a brush tip and then the other side is a chisel and which is you know the thick broad one and so that was what also made them appealing is they're very cheap they're very affordable and you get the same kind of oh the same kind i'm, I'm trying to think of the word that i'm looking for the same kind of style as Copic markers because you get you know the nice brush tip and I do I think they come in a good variety of colors because the other thing that's difficult is when you get these um, cheaper brands sometimes they don't come in these pastel colors because I've learned that you kind of want to work from pastel and slowly go darker because it's hard to go from dark to light but it's very easy to go from light to dark so that's kind of the thing that also is appealing is because they actually have a good selection of lighter colors so that's that's also very nice and something that they just very recently came out with because something that people love about Copics and so far it's kind of the only marker that people know of and that I know of that has refills so you buy this bottle and it's just the bottle of ink and you can refill your Copic marker but with these Ohuhu markers and cheaper ones, you have to buy the set. They don't have refills, they don't have singles. But Ohuhu just came out with 12 colors, the most used colors, that you can just buy the single. And that's really nice because let's say, so for me, I use a lot of the salmon pink. I use the because it, it's a light skin color and it looks nice and it works great and so that's one of the colors that you can buy just singly so if it dries out and you ran out of ink and it's not looking good you can buy that marker just that color and it's so helpful and so nice because then you don't have to buy the whole set because you're like 
why I don't really use this, you know, very dark... I don't know, I'm trying to think. Let's look at one that I would probably... This really dark yellow. I may use that one, but I'm just giving an example. Or like this, you know, very vibrant hot pink. I may not use that very often as much as, you know, the other ones. Going, oh, I'm going to use this brown because I like, you know, brown hair color. Or I may use this black because, I don't know. I'm just giving examples. So it's nice that they came out with these single markers. So that's very useful. They're very keeping up with the times. And that's a nice thing is to find a company that gives you a cheap alternative, also gives you good quality as well. These are very good quality markers. But they also are, oh, I'm trying to think of the word, that they're constantly changing and making changes for the better. You know, this is, it's better that they're coming out with these singles and coming out with these, you know, the brush markers. And they don't have the full set, because let's see, I'm looking at their little thing that they sent. I believe that they have um, just in the chisel tip, so this isn't, um, so the chisel and the fine tip, they have 200 colors, and that's actually quite a bit. I think Copic has about 230-ish, give or take, so they Copic still has quite a bit, um, but Ohuhu is, you know, coming up right behind, but their brush, so they have a brush and bullet tip, or brush, well they do have a brush and bullet, and that only comes in a hundred colors. And then they have the chisel and brush tip, and that comes up to 120 colors. So they are very, you know, they're, they're doing pretty mighty fine. The only thing is the brush and the bullet, looking at it, it says it's water-based, so it's a water-based marker. So that's gonna be a bit different than an alcohol-based marker. So, you know, if you if you don't mind having a chisel and a bullet tip, then definitely 200 colors, that's a lot of colors. And then you have the chisel and brush, if you like a brush better, it comes up to 120. That's quite a bit, and that that's that's awesome. Um, and yeah, I feel like they are very awesome. They do a great job. They have a very good variety of colors. It, looking at this sheet, it shows the 120 I can get in the brush, and wow just a variety a big big range more than you know obviously the 72 or 48 that it comes in and it's it, I mean it's kind of nice because I feel like even looking at this the 48 they they're pretty vibrant it looks like they come with a couple of lighter ones um, but yeah, I mean, that's the nice thing is like for me, I was like, uh, the 120 is still a little expensive for me. So I was able to go just a little bit cheaper, but I have, you know, Artify, I have 40 markers. And so I was like, well, I don't want to get 48, you know, I want to get a good set. So I felt, you know, 72, that's right in the middle. Perfect. So I decided to go ahead and get that. And... I definitely recommend these if, you know, you're, there's definitely cheaper brands out there that I feel do just as good, but these definitely, they're very well made. Um, they did a very good job and I do, I recommend these. Um, you know, they're a good, I feel like they're, if beginning to even professional, you know, that these are, these are great. So, definitely recommend them. Two thumbs up, because I only got two thumbs. If I had more thumbs, I'd give more thumbs, but. So, yes, I recommend these. Get them if you can. You can get them on Amazon.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.